Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Nothing can highlight this more than cymatics, with just a vibrating plate forming beautiful patterns that are relative to the geometry of the plate and the frequency of the vibrations. Just by changing the frequency of the vibrations, these patterns change from unregulated chaos into a beautiful symmetry. But for Tesla to be right, and the secrets of the universe to be based on energy, frequency and vibration, the cymatic patterns that we can form by using sound vibrations must be mimicking a universal process that is continuously unfolding throughout the universe. This video will put forward the idea that this universal process is formed by light in the form of photon vibrations with the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy. Even if we do not add vibrations in the form of sound, the vibrations are always there in the form of photon oscillations with the future unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This is because the universe is never at absolute zero. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum, that everything is radiating photon oscillations or vibrations continuously. The prime example of this is photon energy continuously cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for the disorganization of entropy that we have in the second law of thermodynamics. We see and feel this process as the passage of time, with each photon oscillation only occurring once, with the different types of atoms vibrating at different rates to generate or absorb light resonating at different frequencies. Water is a good example of this, with the exchange of photon energy when hydrogen bonds break and reform, with the future unfolding relative to the environment that the water is flowing in. The creative interactive nature of this process can be seen with just a change in frequency in the form of environmental temperature, leading to the atoms bonding together relative to positive and negative charge, forming infinite snowflake diversity. In such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. Just by changing the frequency of the vibrations of a two-dimensional plate, we can form complexity that in many ways is similar to the diversity of life. And it would seem logical that the universe and life itself was formed by a process based on energy, frequency and vibrations, as Tesla implied. But for this to be true, the process would have to be extended from the two-dimensional surface of a vibrating plate to the three dimensions of our everyday life. Spherical geometry can represent the three dimensions of our everyday life, and in zero gravity, water will naturally form a sphere. Experiments have shown that these spheres react to harmonic vibrations by forming oscillating bubbles that directly reflect the rhythmic tones of the harmonic vibrations. And even more fundamental than this, a candle flame in zero gravity will naturally form a sphere that is reacting to the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. Therefore, we can have a three-dimensional process with a dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition formed by the inner concaved and outer convex surface of the sphere. The universal nature of this process can be seen if we look back through space and time at the oldest light in the universe, the photons from the cosmic microwave background radiation, 
we see spherical harmonic oscillations that cover the whole sky. These temperature oscillations in the cosmic microwave background radiation indicate a special direction in space, or in a sense an axis through the universe. This axis is correlated back through space and time to us, with the cosmic microwave background radiation being slightly warmer in the direction of movement of the local group of galaxies that includes the Milky Way galaxy. Also, these temperature variations are neatly separated in the northern and southern sky relative to the geometry of the elliptic plane of the solar system. Scientists named this the axis of evil because of the damage it could do to current Big Bang theories. But this axis could represent a timeline that formed life, giving us the ability to look back in time at the harmonic vibrations that led to the creation of life. With life being able to form its own harmonic ripples in the fabric of space-time, in the form of music, art and poetry. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.